What's up guys and welcome to Monsters and Monocles. This is a brand new game that looks super fun, super colorful. I think that we're gonna like playing this one a little bit. It is early access, which means the game is not finished, but I figure we'll go ahead and get started with playing it a little bit. All right then, so it looks like this is cool. So it looks like we have three different places to choose from. Oh, oh okay, we just chose one. I didn't really mean to do that, but uh, all right, now we're here. Oh geez, oh geez, there's monsters me. <laughs> I chose a more difficult level. Okay, so it looks like this does play a lot like something like Enter the Gungeon or Nuclear Throne, which is really cool. Definitely wanna see, oh geez, oh geez, oh geez. Who we can take out here. Now I don't know too much about it if it's a roguelike, permadeath, all that kind of stuff. Okay, this guy's destroying a lot of stuff. Hey, that's my job, get out of here. Oh, T. <laughs> I'm guessing that's gonna be health, so maybe I'll hold on to that until I lose some health. Well, this is pretty cool so far. Controls while well, I'm also an adorable dog man. Oh jeez, oh jeez. There's a dog in an overcoat. That's really nice, you know? <laughs> looks like we're collecting coins. Ooh, a chest. And it looks like at the top we have an objective. Vanquish four super slime beasts. Is this a super slime beast? I'm gonna guess no. Maybe that's some kind of boss, but I'm not really sure. But we're gonna be careful. We don't wanna take too much damage here. This guy's luckily not that bad of a deal to take out here. Hopefully those coins don't disappear. Here, gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Revolver, hold on, wait, oh look, okay, I picked that up. I guess that's what I already had though. I think I already had a revolver. Whoa, look at that, I was able to dodge. All right, that was cool. There you go, all right then, these rats are stuck. This is cool though, I really like the color design of this, but yeah, I believe this is early access, so I don't think the game is currently finished, but once it is finished, I figured that we could maybe play a little bit of a series on it, depending on you know, like when it comes out, if you guys enjoy this video. We'll have to see, whoa, 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 okay, Mr. Rats. I don't care what Disney Pixar film you might be from or might not be, I'm taking you down. Oh, there you go. So there's a key here we need to get down there, and I'm guessing that's like the next level, like farther down the corridor. Let's break this open. Oh, okay, this is a steak launcher. Wait, this is, okay. I, did, I thought it meant more like cow steaks. I was like, that's a weird thing. I guess it means steaks like, you know, the kind that take out vampires. Oh, how much would I bet that's a super slime beast? Like, to me, that screams super slime beast. Ooh. Okay, I got hit there. Oh, that was the first time we took hit, or took a shot. <laughs> okay, hide here, hide here. Shoot you again, shoot you again. Jeez, he takes so much damage though. Like, he's like a tank right now. So how do I switch weapons again now? Uh, I don't, I do not know. Huh, maybe I'm out of the other weapon? I don't really have no idea. Whoa, okay, yeah, that counted. We only need to take out three Super Slime Beasts now. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Oh, I get it. This door's not gonna open until we op or destroy those four. All right then, what is, oh, there's something over there. There's weird, because you know, the controls were only told to me in controller, like this game is intended to play with controller, but I usually like these kind of games a little bit better with mouse and keyboard. They seem to work out a bit better that way. You know, let's pick up these, get over here, destroy you, destroy you too. What's going on over here? We got ourselves. It looks like these stuff, I'm not really sure if they actually hold anything. Hmm, we'll have to keep our eyes open. Oh, that one dropped the coin, so I guess they do. I'm trying to figure out how I switch, no, nope, how I switch back to my other weapon. Here, I might have to find out. Pressing the controls button doesn't do anything, so I guess we'll just have to keep with this gun until we run out of ammo, if there is any ammo. Doesn't look like there is, actually, so I'll just use it until, you know, the cows come home, because I don't know when that'll be. Oh, the cows don't live here, so <laughs> they ain't coming home. All right. Let's go ahead, take you out a little bit. Whoa, I'm gonna dodge over here. Oh, Jesus, spikes. Hey, let me go back, where is that? Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. I feel like that's what the rats would say. Get that. I, like, we got these little, like, crabs that are hiding in the in the pots over here. Like, this guy? I don't like that one, but that's sneaky. What happened to that tea that we got earlier? Like, what is this staircase as well? I don't know. There's a lot to this area. Is there a map I can pull up? I guess not. Here, give me that. That gave me a little bit of health back, which I appreciate. There's some rats over here. Oh, he was an explosive one too. So there's like a lot to explore. It's not like a small area like you would find in some of the other games. It's sort of like a bigger area that you have to keep track of because there's no map. Unless like a map is like an item you can get, like you have to buy or unlock it or something. That'd be different, that'd be much different. Here, get this, get that, get that, oh. They take two shots, we'll have to keep that in mind. I like this gun a lot though, because it goes through multiple people. Oh, here we go. Let's start giving these guys a hard time. They shoot so much, so we gotta be able to, ooh, wait. So here's the revolver, which I already had, but now I sort of wish I could pick, like change back. Maybe I could just click it? No, that doesn't work. Oh boy. 
Like, I don't know, I'm pressing, oh, oh, I found it, I found it, something made me switch there. Ah, okay, I found it, I found it. It's Q and E, huh. Ooh, gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh no, no, lost my reticle there for a little bit. But it's so much easier to shoot a stuff because you know I can put the reticle where I need it to be. Ooh. So you know, like when I, with the end of the gungeon, we had a little bit of a side series with the end of the gungeon on my bonus channel, and uh, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> it was very difficult when it comes to this blunderbuss. Oh no, I, I gotta choose, okay. Then let's see, blunderbuss, boom. Ooh, that is like, close range, but will be nice with those kind of characters. Very good, I like the snake dog. <laughs> Dogs just take different forms in this game. We got a dog in an overcoat walking on his two legs. We got a snake dog. What other kind of dogs will we find? Not sure. Oh, got you, got you, got you. Yeah. Oh, come on now. But yeah, it looks like these, when you find these weapons, they don't run out of ammo, or at least I don't see any ammo gauge or number or anything. But we need to take out two more slime beasts before we can get to the next level. I really wanna do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get rid of you. There you go. But for scarier guys like this, where I gotta take him out from a distance, it's just great to have this. And then switch back to the blunderbuss. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's get back down this way. All right, I gotta keep it at a distance because these guys are tough and I don't have much health left, so. Oh, there's the, f not the final slime, the super slime beast, but one of the last ones. You can see my dog is even blinking red right now just because I'm so low on health. Boop. Luckily, these little rat guys get stuck in the corners very easily. We got so many coins, I don't know what we're spending those on now. Hopefully something good. Hey, you get out of here. And you guys too. Come on now, finish him off. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh, okay. So I think I'll probably like, can I? Well, I mean, this range isn't infinite. It actually ends pretty quickly, so we gotta be careful there. But nothing's really hitting me from this angle. I gotta just be careful about those little spikes. But if I'm against the wall like this, am I hitting him? I guess I am. Yeah, just keep doing this all day. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Whoa, no! Oh, okay, I still have, oh, I still have more lives. All right, then let's go in with the blunderbuss. Blunderbuss attack, ow, this was a bad idea. This was a bad idea. Wait, I just gotta wait for his attacks. Ooh, what is this? Wait, hold on, hold on, get rid of you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you too. Hold on, you ain't done? Why well, ain't done either? Uh, nope, uh, yep. <laughs> so let's see, the burst rifle. Whoa, okay then, so we're gonna keep that, and then, Oh, that is so good. Okay, so we got a bit of range, we gotta get a bit of burst in there too. But it's, the range isn't perfect on that, so. Definitely just start clearing out the smaller guys first. But I'm glad we have extra lives. That's what the hearts are on the top now that we know. This is fun so far, this is a really good game. I can definitely see me getting into this. Of course, I love roguelikes like Binding of Isaac and Spelunky and Risk of Rain I've played a ton of, so. This kind of stuff is down my alley, a good bet. Ooh. Ooh. Got it, got it. So we only need, no, we got all of them. Capital, proceed to the exit and make, all right, then what is this? Grenade launcher, catch. <laughs> he caught that pretty good, I have to I have to say. So how many grenades does it take to take care of a dude like this? That's three, that's four, that's five. It takes five. We'll go for it. For those big clusters of enemies, it might be nice. Like, I definitely want to sort of see, it sort of has like that weird arc to it. Do you guys see this? Like, whoa. It sort of bounces a little bit too. But I'm guessing if it comes directly in contact with some guys, that won't be the case. Can I get through here? No, okay, I don't want to end up hurting myself too. So I gotta be careful. All right, the old shot, lives remaining one. No, 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 whoa, 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 no, no. No, go back down, go back down, go back down. How do I go back down? All right, then we're at the yield shop. Hello, let's see, by imp-recharge. Hmm, so we could buy different weapons. Coin range, I guess, you know, the uh, range we're picking up coins, large team. We have 1145, burn effect, tea gun. <laughs> that sounds funny. And a crumpet cannon. Why don't we buy some tea? Because I really, really need some health. So if I could buy something like that, and then another tea over here, and then I don't really have enough for anything else. So I think I'll have to piece out, but yeah, we can't afford anything else. So we're going back down. Let's see, Lost Tomb level three. Objective, proceed to exit and make one's getaway. All right, well, the exit's over there, so. Let's go ahead and boom, just like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They can find you at just as far of a distance as you can find them, though. So you gotta be careful. Like, as soon as you start shooting, they can find you, basically. Ooh, is that the blunderbuss? No, that's the scatter cannon. 
Okay, hold on. Whoa. I don't know how much I like that, but it's interesting to see for sure. Oh. It's, yeah, it's very hard to hit. So I'm gonna, you know, keep with the stake launcher. Got it, got it. And this is acid blunder. So there's weapons dropping all the time. You definitely have to make your pick and see what works for you in certain situations. I'm gonna go down here. I love the colors in this game though. So darn beautiful. Okay, this is a little much, don't you say? Oh no, oh no. Hmm, get rid of you guys. I just want this, I want these coins. This is all kinds of bad news out. I need to back it up and start clearing you guys. Oh my gosh, too many, too many. Uh, that's the burst rifle again. Cool to see that's there, but I don't really need it. Get you, get you, and then switch back to this, boom. You guys over there, you guys don't even have a chance. All right, so let's try to, boop, see it. <laughs> and then get that over there. Whoa, 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 come on, dude. Getting stuck on the corner, just like the rats do, don't I? Oh uh, boy. Get those guys. No, 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 whoa, is something hitting me? Yep, 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 there is. Oh boy, oh no. Huh, no, oh, darn it, it's so hard to make those shots sometimes. Oh, I don't wanna get hit like that anymore. I do not wanna get hit like that anymore. Uh, speaking of which, <laughs> need to make sure to use this charge a little bit more. Like once things get a little scary, need to charge away. Ooh, and then I got you too. Good, 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 okay. So we didn't take out much here, but, oh geez, no, 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 no. Okay, I got it, boss. Objective vanquished Teuton Krobum? Okay. All right, let's see how pleasant this guy is. This game's cool so far. I could see us taking care of this first boss. Like, it seems to be fair with most things. So you can't hit him like that, but you can hit him from the front. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. And let's also put the cannons at him. I think it might be easier with this and just focus on dodging. I'm gonna shoot this. Oh, no, he got me. I gotta be careful for his little crab things. I really don't like crabs, you know? They're not really my favorite thing in the world. So we can hit from a side if we do it like this. Oh, this is good. This is good. This might be his kryptonite right here. Our, our weapon overheated a little bit there, so we gotta be careful. Get that over there, yeah, it's overheating still. But yeah, this is how we wanna do it. But the unfortunate thing is that it's barely doing a single thing to his health. All right then, so I'm gonna go ahead, dodge on over here. He's trying to shoot at me, but since I'm not directly in front of him, that's sort of his big thing. The only place you can really hurt him is his front, but as long as we're not doing that. Okay, never mind. he's changed it up. Messing with the formula a little bit here. As long as he isn't throwing those horrible, horrible pincers in weird ways, you know? All right, and this is still doing good damage, though. If we could just keep doing this. All right, gotta be careful though, the weapon's overheating. So like, that's only the, the, the big thing, is that you can't with the weapon overheat or you're gonna be in a weird situation. Just like that. Dodge these things. This is gonna be an easy boss for us if it continues in this way. If it starts mixing things up a little bit more, like that, things might get a little bit harder, but we still have full health. It's an entire life dedicated to this boss. I'm glad that if we die, it's not like instant game over. You have a few lives. Like that's that's good. Get that. Get that. And this. And this and that. Jeez, this guy is just like a tank though. Like I mean he's a I can see how he's a good first boss though. He's pretty easy. You just have to learn, you know, to use a weapon that works with him well like this. But it's definitely good to be able to have two weapons to utilize here. Ooh. Oh geez, gotta use his bullet dodging skills put into the test. Ooh, oh geez, and he won't stop with it now. He ain't gonna calm down. I think he knows that I'm trying to hide behind him. Okay, dude, I get it, I get it. Ugh, that's way too far. It's so hard to keep track of when I'm trying to dodge bullets too. Oh, there you go. There you go, shower him with it. <laughs> it's all yours, buddy, completely free of charge. Let me also, I keep on wanting to change weapons with the one and two keys, but it doesn't let you do that. Like it won't let me change controls, so I just sorta of gotta work with what I'm dealt with here. Oh, I got him a little bit there. Oh, and then, well that's all getting thrown at me. I'm gonna switch to the bombs, if I can remember the right button. So I have gotten hit a little bit, I gotta be careful. I really don't wanna die on this. I wanna be able to take care of the first boss, you know? Cause that'd be cool. Oh, get it, get it. Come on, he's almost down. You can see that for sure. Ooh. <laughs> I love the wings that'll come out of it though. I'm sort of missing now. Gotta be able to yeah, get it like that. That's the sweet spot right there. So this gun's overheating, but as soon as we can, we gotta let it cool down. Ooh. Come on, yes, so that's the last shot, look at that, okay. Whoa, tons of stuff going on there. Let's check out what we got. We got ourselves tea, delicious tea. We got ourselves the cross launcher. 
Uh, let's check this out. Huh. I don't know if that'll be any better, but we're gonna try that out. And we're gonna peace out of here, right? Capital proceed to the exit to make one skid away. All right, then like our pooch pal, look at how happy he is. That's adorable. Let's continue. So there you go, there is that area complete. We got a little V for victory. I don't know if we should end it off there. I guess we will. That's our little look so far at Monsters and Monocles. Maybe we'll continue on trying some of the other areas, such as the mansion or the city in the next video that we ever do on Monsters and Monocles. Either that be later today, tomorrow, next week, or when the game is fully out if it's not out already. I'm pretty sure there's early access, but I'm probably making myself look like a dingus. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Monster so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.